Reading students. By now some of you are probably wondering why you've been asked to sign up for a Twitter account for this semester when this isn't an e-marketing subject. Well, the short answer is yes, this is an e-marketing subject. E-marketing as it stands is now an integrated part of all forms of marketing. Having a social media presence is a key part of marketing. What I'm asking you to do with your social media account, with your Twitter account this semester, is use it to connect outside of the classroom. I have three hours per week where you are going to be in a room where you can see myself or one of my tutorial staff. Beyond that, there's a lot of week, there's a lot of time. What I'm asking of you with the Twitter account is during the semester, if you have a question, a question that's short or quick, fire it off through Twitter, send an app message to the course account. If it's a complicated question, sure, send me an email. If it's something you want to ask face to face, drop by, book an appointment time, come around and see me. But if it's short, it's quick, and you want some clarification, throw me a question across Twitter. And in particular, I'm going to ask a really big favour of my students this semester, and that is, those of you who bring your laptops, your smartphones, tablets, devices, whatever, have your Twitter account open. Have your Twitter account primed, so that if you've got a question that you want to ask, and you think the class has moved on, or you don't feel comfortable about putting your hand up, or it's been a rough week and you've forgotten your yellow card, ask the question on Twitter. Ask it in real time. I will have a laptop down the front of the room. I will have the class account open. If you have a question, you can ask it and I can respond to it. Between classes, I can do a text response. In class, I can actually, if you want to say something as basic as, hey, I, didn't, I hadn't finished with that slide, I can flip the slide back. But I can only do this if you play along, if you're part of this. So, during the semester, bring the laptops, bring the devices, and look, I know you're going to update your Facebook status, and I know you're going to mess around with Facebook as well, because frankly, I've got my laptop down the front, and it's open, and what do you think I'm doing during classes as well? So I'm okay with that. But particularly, bring the Twitter. Bring the ability to message. But also, think about your peers, think about your mates, think about the other people in the class. If you find something interesting, you find a great reader, Throw a link out. Either hit me with an app message or put the hashtag in there. Put the course hashtag on and other people can see it. I will track the use of the hashtags across the semester. I will bring back a report at the end of the semester saying how it was used, what people did with it. Um, don't be too put off if I will uh, retweet you during semester. If you can say something I particularly think is brilliant or you've got a great link or something I want to share, I will do the retweet because that's what Twitter's about, that's how it works. Similarly, if you want to share the messages and stuff I'm putting out, that's how it works. But the other aspect to Twitter in this particular event is if you have your own account and you don't want me following, you don't want to know, you want to be able to do your commentary about the course without me seeing it, fair game. I've got two accounts. I've got a professional account and I've got a personal account. Now, I don't care if you guys follow either. I don't really think you're going to enjoy following uh, my personal account. So I understand. If you want to have one account that's just for this subject, it's just your, your student number, you whatever, and you've got a personal account somewhere else, and you can say what you like. You can lock it down, make it private, do whatever you want to do. I'm okay with that. I live on the internet. I know how these things roll. But for this subject, please, sign up, get involved, Use it. Contact me. Talk to each other. Use the course hashtag. Send messages if you're not sure what's going on in the class. Ask questions. Give answers. And that's the last aspect I'm going to ask of you. If someone said something on the hashtag that you can answer, get in there. Give an answer. Now, if I agree with you, brilliant. If I don't agree with you, we start the conversation. However it works, however it rolls, I'd like you to give it a go. I'd like you to have a play with it. And have a sense of adventure. At the end of this, if you don't like it, you 
you hit the delete button, it goes away, nothing lost. So, recap, set up a Twitter account, follow your course Twitter, tweet with the hashtag for the course when you're talking about the course, send an app message to the course account if you want to ask a question, and play with it, have some fun, enjoy using Twitter. And for those of you who think it's just about tweeting about what you had for lunch, nah, that's Instagram, mate. It's about taking photos of what you had.